So I have severe MS. I was diagnosed two and a half years ago. Before I went into the treatment. Up until 12 months ago, my condition had deteriorated to the point at which I was completely paralyzed. I couldn't not only not stand, but move around, get out of bed, or even feed myself um, effectively. Through some pioneering stem cell treatment um, here in Sheffield, my condition has transformed from being needing 24-hour acute care to now being able to, to live independently on my own. <laughs> Out kayaking and cycling, able to um, do everything that a parent would do. Dad, I can't film yet. Sheffield um, has not only treated me as a patient, but has treated me as an individual. But for me, it's deeper than that. The care element for me that Sheffield has given me has been actually that the people involved care. They really care about me as an individual. Time for talk, just time for action. Bring it on. And whether that's the senior management, whether you're the you know, chief executive or whether you're a reporter, without everybody working together in harmony, this wouldn't have worked. And that's the beauty of Sheffield well, Trust. Too. Everybody recognises that they must work together to enable phenomenal outcomes to happen. And that's what my experience has been. Well done. At our 20 week scan in Doncaster, um, we were told that there was a problem with the pregnancy. We found out that Faith had got a substantial amount of fluid in her chest and in her abdomen, and it was putting a lot of pressure on her heart and her lungs, and if we didn't act quick, if you like, um, she'd have suffered organ failure and died. Um, so we got referred to Jessop's Sheffield. All our tests came back negative so we couldn't find the cause we just knew that the fluid was increasing i'd read up that um some babies had been fitted with these shunts to help drain the fluid um some had survived some hadn't however that it was our only option she was going to die without that so we had to if she was going to die we had to know that she'd she'd gone with us having done everything Dr Jockey had not performed the procedure before, so for him to kind of take that chance just to put our mind at, at ease and to help us um, in the knowing that we tried everything, um, it really touched our hearts. I've had renal disease for five years. I remember coming into this clinic one day, they said, sorry, you can't go home today. You've got to go and have some dialysis. I was really terrified. This person comes towards you with two needles that look like something your mother used to knit with and uh, attempts to put these in your arm. It is a frightening experience. Then one day this nurse came down the ward. I think she came down the ward. She could have come from up in heaven because she came and gently told me that she'd like to, you know, would I like to try this shared care? Well, it changed my life. It was a totally different atmosphere. They were learning different things. I eventually learned enough that I was, I was able to go home and do home dialysis with the machine. And rather than hate this machine, sometimes I'd even cuddle it a bit because it was saving my life. So that, that's the different shared care made for me. Well, it started, she was admitted to hospital and they found that uh, she got a massive bladder stone, which was as big as a tennis ball. I spoke to the surgeon and asked him what the alternatives were and he just turned around and said, you haven't got any. It's this or nothing. Uh, and if you leave it at nothing, then slowly all the organs in the body will break down. 
and she'll die. So we decided on the operation. It, it got while I didn't think I'd ever see her again, not, not back home. Uh, in, in total, she was five months before we got her home. And you see what you see now, you know. Without our nursing staff, we'd have been in trouble. I don't know what we'd have done. I rely on them. I know that they're there if I need them. So I can't fault our nurses at all. Being responsive to patients' needs and their carers and families is as important to us as giving good, safe care. Personalised care is what we work hard to give every day. Our values are more than just words. They actually mean something to all of us that work here. We've got a great team of people here. They're the Trust's most important asset and it's really vital for us that they feel valued and thereby they'll be able to reach their full potential. Together we aim to provide the best patient care by having caring and cared for staff and remaining at the forefront of research and innovation. I'm proud to make a difference. I'm proud to make a difference. I am proud to make a difference. I'm proud to make a difference. I'm proud to make a difference. I'm proud we make a difference.